couple of my artist friends and I were talking about being terrified of wasting supplies. This notion that there isn't enough and that you waste them. And this is a fascinating concept that I struggle with. I kind of want to show you the giant piles of canvases, big canvases that I have touched. People gave them to me for a reason. I bought them for a reason. I am darn spoiled with all the stuff and art supplies I've got. But this is a real fear for a lot of artists. And if you're watching this, you might are probably one of them. Why are we so terrified of wasting materials? Are, what are we really terrified of? Are we scared of wasting money on materials, really? You can get craft paint for 70 cents. If you are an artist, you will find a way to create art. And that's especially when you make it your priority. So you can go to the dollar store for two bucks, a pencil and paper. You probably can even find a kit at the dollar store for a dollar to make something. Practice on that. I know that my paintings turn out better when I use the training I have, when I go through value studies and sketches and composition. I use every tool that I have been given and I train and I get better results when I use those things. So what are we so afraid of to waste these materials? Are we afraid of failure? And I think with artists, there is an element of failure you have to have. I think one of Will Smith's videos, he's an awesome inspirational speaker, about failure is to fail a lot and fail often. I might try to find a link to that, actually. Um, he, he's inspirational. He's failed enough. And I think a lot of us also consider him a success, right? a large means. So what's about failure with artists? We have to experiment. We have to practice. A musician? The only thing they're wasting that when they practice is time. Is that actually wasting when you use time to practice something? For artists, we just happen to have to use up materials. If you're digital, okay, so maybe not quite as many materials, but you're still using time. And maybe at the end of that practice, you're not satisfied with what you get. Does that mean your time is wasted? So I think when I think about all this really deeply, it boils down to a few things. Maybe we're not afraid of wasting something because Lordy knows I've been sitting here for 40 minutes thinking about what to say about this video. It's been 40 minutes. I could have been painting. I could have been watching a movie. I could have been drawing. I sat here and wasted 40 minutes thinking about it. And I really do think those were almost wasted, but my biggest fear is regretting wasting that time, regretting choosing the wrong thing. Time is going to flow by with or without us. You could be on Instagram or YouTube for hours. I know plenty of us are video game people. We've spent hours on that. Is that a regret? Is that a waste of time? And I think that depends on your priorities and your goals. And for a lot of us, the answer might actually be yes, we should get off that. Heck, even now, if you're on YouTube and you've been on here for, what, hours? Get off my video right now and go draw something for five minutes. Stop listening. Start doodling on a piece of computer paper for the rest of this video, and you will have done something. So maybe we're afraid of regret, and the time that flows past us, we will never get back. It's kind of a deep existential way to think about it. But time will go by, with or without you. It's been... A very, very long time since I've been out of college and high school. And there are so many things I could have done. You can't get that time back. You don't have a time machine. Pick up your pencil and start going now. I think we also don't want to waste materials. This world is very conscious of wasting, and we have wasted a lot. But it's also product-driven and not process-driven. Can you, if you have kids, picture them not making any mistakes on their homework or drawing or something? Seriously. Are your kids under pressure to not make any mistakes whatsoever, and does that actually help them? Um, maybe, maybe, maybe that's the wrong way of saying that, but you know, get what I'm saying right here. You have to make mistakes to learn. You have to have the freedom to make mistakes to create, correct, excuse me, and continue and go on with all that. 
If you're absolutely terrified of wasting money on your materials, have you ever actually run out? Seriously? Can you not save 70 cents to get a cheap little ball of one color of paint to practice with? Maybe you're not, and you have different priorities in your life right now. That's okay. But the only time I've ever run out of material is when the store stopped carrying it. I know if I was desperate, my friends would give me five bucks, 10 bucks. Every single time I have said, hey guys, I'm running out of paint, people have dumped all sorts of amazing materials on me. So I can practice. They probably know half of them are gonna be wasted on crappy paintings. They know I need to practice, just like a musician. I need to warm up, learn how things work. And eventually my work is going to start paying for itself and get sustainable. And I am so grateful to my family and friends for donating and supporting me through that. Ask people for three books, ask them for pencils, ask them what they recommend. Use anything. Maybe we're terrified of wasting things. And at the same time, we have this sense of preciousness, like this brand new white page. You don't dare make a mark on it. Well, guess what? It's not serving you at that point. Make it your... <clears throat> okay? Tell a piece of paper who's boss. If you're so terrified of a white canvas or white piece of paper that you can't make a mark on it, it's owning you. But it's your art. A pencil, a piece of paper. That's all you need. If you're waiting around for the perfect pencil or the perfect sketchbook to do your stuff, you're procrastinating and making excuses, plain and simple, sorry. If you're a creator, you're gonna create. With the simplest things, you can learn so much. And ask your friends, save up two bucks. It's gonna snowball, I promise. Wasting materials is a tricky thing. I might um, talk about more about it in other videos and I struggle with that my a lot myself. This 30 day painting thing has really helped me to use stuff up. It's practice. I have not seen a single way around it. Anyhow, this picture's almost done. Please like and subscribe for more other possibly depressing, thought-provoking things that artists can do. If that inspired you or you struggle with this too, leave a comment below and let me know how you've dealt with this. Thanks. Have a great night, everybody.